Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is actually going to be the video that, <laughs> that I had filmed probably like a couple weeks ago and I ended up filming it vertically instead of horizontally. <laughs> and so I didn't catch that I filmed it vertically because my phone was still horizontal but the filming itself was turned i don't know i don't know how that happened i don't know if it was something funky with the phone i don't know but whatever happened it just wouldn't work and uploading it wasn't going to work because i'm going to be piecing together multiple pieces to a video to make it one whole large video so we are here to do it again <laughs> to try again um and so this video is going to be my plant um, tarot and oracle deck collection so um a couple months ago i had put out a thing on instagram where i was announcing i wanted to collect more plant-based oracle and tarot decks um i have a lot in my collection a lot of oracle decks a lot of tarot decks and sometimes i get stuck on a certain theme like i have dark theme decks those are my ultimate favorite but i've been really into the herbs and earth vibes the earth vibes more so because i'm trying to embrace more of that element in my life um it is the one element that i lack in my birth chart um and so i've been really trying to embrace more earth vibes working with my root chakra and just kind of introducing more plants and fruits and whatnot in my diet on a daily um, and so you guys have been seeing that like in the video diaries, I always have fruit and stuff for breakfast and sometimes I'll snack on fruit and whatnot, um, introducing like more vegetables to dinners and like potatoes because it's for root chakra energy. And so I thought, why not start bringing more of the earth element into my tarot and oracle decks? So I gathered up, <laughs> I gathered up all of my decks that I have in my collection and I'm going to introduce them to you guys. Um, so if you are interested in seeing what my plant oracle and deck, oracle and tarot <laughs> deck collection looks like, keep on watching. Okay, so number one on this list is the herbal tarot. This is probably the ultimate plant tarot deck that I own. Um, the herbal tarot was something that it's been on my wish list forever. <laughs> um, I remember I always had it like as a saved thing in my shopping cart on Amazon and I just never took the leap um, in purchasing the deck until a few months ago. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get it. So the herbal tarot, it's really cool. It's a full blown tarot deck um, and it introduces different plants for each of the elements so if you guys are interested in seeing the herbal tarot um i'm going to show you now okay, so the herbal tarot and first off please excuse my please excuse my unmanicured nails i don't have any polish on them today okay so the deck isn't in order but that's okay here is the backs so you have a pretty little florally looking back to them and the cards themselves so we have garlic for the tower which i always thought was so fitting for this card <laughs> for this card um there are people in the deck and it goes through you know with the pentacles the swords it's typical tarot it'll tell you the name of the herb as well so mistletoe this one is gentian 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 dark grapes so like I said this with this deck was um was one that had been on my list for a while and I just I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it and I'm really glad that I did because I really like working with it I think it's really good it follows Rider weight pretty well for the most part and he just have the plants marijuana <laughs> You have the plants that go with it. So it's really cool. Totally, totally, totally recommend. And I've become more familiar with the with the herbs as I've been working with the deck more often. Um, or the different decks that I have more often because you, you'll see a lot of the plants... Um, 
like you'll see them repeat themselves throughout the deck. So that's kind of cool because you get to start to become more familiar with them. So yeah, I won't show everything. So there's some element of surprise for anybody who decides to purchase the cards. But that is the herbal tarot. <laughs> So next I have the Harmonious Tarot. The Harmonious Tarot was gifted to me um, by one of my tarot reader friends and follower on Instagram. Um, and I chose this deck to go in this collection, not so much because it doesn't have like individual plants in it, but, oh, I'll show you in a little bit. It has, um, it has a real earthy vibe to it. The cards themselves have lots of plant life, flowers in it, flower child, like flower people. <laughs> it has a really um, cool, similar um, taste to the, um, the flower oracle, which I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later. Um, so I grabbed this one because I thought it would just go perfect with the whole theme and it just has that element of greenery to it and I really like it. So let's have a look at the Harmonious Tarot. Next is the Harmonious Tarot. Um, so the Harmonious Tarot, I actually did a major, major deck mod. As you can see, the cards themselves are way, way, way smaller. Um, I cut off the white border. So there was huge white borders, um, around the cards and I just could not deal. <laughs> so I did my own deck mod and I removed them and I think that it helped a lot. Like to me, the picture just sticks out so much better. Um, but this is the reason why I got the deck out for this collection is because you have people, but they're flowers, like they, they're, they, they're flower people, some of them, some of them. Um, but there's just so much greenery and so much life in the deck itself that I just thought it was perfect. It's so dainty and it's so it's so detailed. Like you really have to see a close up of the cards to really appreciate it. And yes, I did write on some of the cards. Like this one, I know you could tell. It's, okay, it's a three of cups, but like I wrote the number seventeen to remember like um, which which major arcana card it was, and then. I believe the minors I left alone. This is number two, so that's obviously the high priestess, but look at her, she's a flower. Like, that's why I pulled this one out. This one reminds me of, like, if if the Victorian Romantic Tarot was a tarot deck. I mean, if the, if the Victorian, if the, sorry, Victorian Flower Oracle, if it was a tarot deck, it would be like this. So that's why I pulled it. So I just, I just think it's so pretty. I just think the only gripe I have with it is that the artwork, you have to be so up close to see it because there's so much detail. I freaking love it, it's so pretty. So this is the Harmonious Tarot. Look at this is Luna. <laughs> My Luna. So this is the Harmonious Tarot. So another deck is the Mystic Fairy Tarot. This is another one that I purchased, used, um, I think it was like through a Facebook group. And um, so I really, really wanted this one. One, because I don't have very many fairy decks in my collection. And two, because the cards are absolutely gorgeous. They have a very earth vibe to them, which is like that greenery, that gold, the golden greens are real heavy in this deck. Um, and then also the fairies. So I just feel like fairy magic, fairy energy is very earth based. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. And this one in particular, you, when you like look through the guidebook, each, it, it kind of tells a story. So each of the suits has a story with a different family of fairies and whatnot. So it's really interesting. Um, but I thought this one would be a really cool one to introduce to you guys because I don't think it gets much love. I don't really see a lot of people talking about the Mystic Fairy Tarot. So, um, I thought that would be another cool one to introduce to you guys. So let's have a look. Okay. So this deck comes in the, a deck bag. It was inside the box. 
so pretty, like screams earth vibes, right? So the Mystic Fairy Tarot has the most gorgeous backs. They just look like little, like they kind of look like little bugs to me, but also fairy. Like it's just really pretty. Gold borders, they're so, it's just such a pretty deck. Um, this one is in order, so that's kind of cool. But absolutely a gorgeous plant-based deck. And if you like fairies, then you'll really, really be into this. <laughs> and some of the fays, like some of the fays are real pretty and whatnot, but um, I don't know. I just think it just captures that earth element so well because it's not just the fairies. You just have all this amazing like design. So I really like it. You also have dragons in it. <laughs> Little elves. That's the majors. Let's let's fast forward a little bit to some minor arcana. So the Ace of Pentacles. And so like I said, for each suit, you're gonna see the same fairies because it's a family, it's a story. So you'll see like the same purple fairy. And then when you fast forward to another suit, you get another fairy, like another family. <laughs> See, so pretty. So this is the Mystic Fairy Tarot. Anybody who is curious, real, real pretty deck. So next is the Antique Anatomy Tarot, which I have two copies. So this is the mass produced deck this one just came out um a month or two ago claire goodchild is also the creator of a couple other decks um another one which i'll show you later but this one um has been it's it's it's, it's available in like barnes and noble and whatnot so you could totally find it um but prior to this one coming out she also came out with um the antique anatomy tarot the ephemera edition so this is kind of like the I guess you could talk, call it a the the indie the in, the indie version of the mass produced. So beautiful, beautiful decks. Um, there are major uh, major differences <laughs> with each one. The card backs are different. The card stock is very different. But the whole theme and the artwork is pretty much the same. It's beautiful. So I can't wait to show you guys. So let's have a closer look at the Antique Anatomy Tarot. So for the Antique Anatomy Tarot, the mass produced comes with this gorgeous guidebook. So let's just lift this up real fast so you guys can see. So it comes with a gorgeous guidebook, you guys. So if you're into guidebooks like I am, like, and it's in full color, like freaking beautiful. I recommend this deck. I'm not a fan of the cardstock, and I'll show you right now why. But if you're just like into the books being beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> then that's that then that is definitely one I recommend. So this is the the one on the left is the mass produced version. The one on the right is the indie vet the indie deck. So right off the bat, I don't know about you guys, but you could tell the indie version, the cardstock is much thicker. And I like the card backs better. So you get your money's worth, you know what I mean? Like you're gonna pay a little bit more for the indie version, but obviously you're gonna get better quality in my opinion. Um, so I'm not a fan of the card backs in this version, but it is what it is. So they're not in order. So unfortunately I'm not gonna do a comparison side by side, but um, I will say like, see this card stack is so much more flimsier. For the most part, the artwork is the same. Like, there are subtle differences, um, like more flowers being added, or the colors are a little bit darker. I feel like the colors are a little bit more darker in the indie version than they are in the mass-produced. The blacks just seem more, 
They just seem to stick out more. Um, as far as like the cardstock goes, it doesn't, it's hard to tell on camera, but this version, the indie version is a little bit like, I don't know, it, it just, it looks a little bit lighter than this, is, if this one comes off more like that vintage look that they're trying to get. <laughs> um, but it's so pretty, you guys. So it's still worth it. But if you have both editions, like you'll be able to tell, you'll be able to tell right off the bat, like what's different. It's so pretty though. So I pulled this one out to show you guys in this collection because um, I, I, I just love the blend of flowers and the skeletons. Like I just think it's so pretty. So definitely a major earth-based deck. And it doesn't tell you what flowers, it doesn't tell you anything like that. It's not, it's not like the other herb decks, but just so pretty. So yeah, that is the Antique Anatomy tarot. Okay, so that is it for all of my um, tarot decks. Let's get into the Oracle decks and we'll start off with, since we ended off with Claire Goodchild's Antique Anatomy, let's start with her Oracle deck, which is the Oracle of Oddities. So I own um, all three editions. There's the first edition, the second edition, and the third. Um, and I keep them in a nice little deck bag here. The thing about this deck is it's a theme. Um, it, well, it's, it's a blend of the like death and life. I like to, that's how I like to describe it. I'm not really sure how she describes her deck, but I like to describe it as a blend of death and life, the beauty of death and the beauty of life. Um, because you have the skeletons and then you have the gorgeous floral stuff. So flowers is life, it's earth energy, and then you have like the skeletons are death and change and whatnot. So it's a beautiful combination and I'm really excited to show you guys this one. Um, this one makes a lot of debuts in my client video readings, so I'm sure you've seen me use it all the time. Um, it's one of my favorite decks. And I, what I did was I combined all three editions into one. So it's just this huge 90 something card deck of amazing goodness. And I can't wait to show you. So let's have a look at the Oracle of Oddities. Okay, so Oracle of Oddities. The card backs are a forest green and they're all the same through every edition. As you can tell, some are lighter than others. I don't know if that's because of the addition. I guess we can kind of see, because because I marked at the very bottom a tiny number to indicate which edition that card came from. <laughs> so we have third, second right there. Let's see. So like this one's darker. This is from the first edition. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like the first edition might be a little bit darker. Here's another dark one, let's see. Yeah, so first edition looks like the green is darker than the other ones, but. So I recommend, I don't know if you guys are, in, like if you're particular about that, but if you mix your decks, like if you put all three editions together, I recommend writing down which one it came from. This way you just know, you know what I mean? I don't know, but <laughs> once I mixed them, I never took them apart, so. So that's the card backs. Um, and just like the Antique Anatomy Tarot, the card stock is very vintage looking, like the, just, just the way she made it look. You have the, the little word edge at the bottom. And you just have this gorgeous scene of anatomy and florals, but it's Oracle. So instead of it being, you know, the tarot, this is the Oracle version. <laughs> and it is so such a good deck. I have well loved this deck, as you can tell. Um, I just find it to be so intuitive. I find it to be amazing with my spirit readings, like when I'm channeling. Um, I feel like spirit comes through really easily with these cards. Um, I've had breakthroughs with, with my own spirit guide messages for myself. It is absolutely gorgeous. So unfortunately, you know, they don't list 
what flowers are, are used for the different cards, but <laughs> I pulled this one to be in the collection because it is so pretty. Like, I just love that blend of anatomy and the flowers. And I just, I love that the anatomy, all the skulls and stuff, they're all, you know, like penciled in or they just have that look to them. They're black and white. And then you have the pop of color with the flowers. So it just works. It's so pretty. She's so brilliant for creating this. <laughs> this one has crystals. I never really noticed that. I love it. So yeah, I could just sit here and show you guys all of them, but I'm not. Look at that death card. <laughs> so that is the Oracle of Oddities. This is one of my favorite decks and I'm so happy to have owned all three editions. So this next deck is the Magical Herb Oracle. If you guys follow me on Instagram for the whole month of November, I've been using a combination of this deck and the Antique Anatomy Tarot. Um, Magical Herb Oracle showcases different um, herbs and it gives you kind of like a little prompt. So it's like that typical Oracle deck. It's so good, you guys. This deck is very, very intuitive. Um, I've had a lot of positive feedback from using this deck for clients. Um, I get a lot of comments on my um, Instagram posts asking what deck this is and it's beautiful. And I found this one off of, um, on, uh, la, la, la. <laughs> I found this one at Barnes and Noble, um, maybe about two, two months ago, two, three months ago. So not too long. Um, so it's still there and you could probably still order it online. It's one of those decks though, I have not seen many people talk about. So it's one of those, to me, it's like a little gem in the pile of like all of these popular decks that you see and then you just have like that little gem that's in there that doesn't get much love, but it should. So let's have a closer look at the Magical Herb Oracle. So Magical Herb Oracle comes with another guidebook and it's full color. Um, I love guidebooks like this because you get more. So you get the botanical description and then you get like the divination. <laughs> you get the divination meaning. Um, and then you also get like magical correspondences for the herb and you get the freedom, like a spell. You get a little spell for it. So each herb has its own spell and all of that. So it's kind of cool, you guys. If you're into working with spells and magic and whatnot, um, you can totally utilize this deck for that. So the cards are oracle size, so they're well, well larger than, um, much larger than the tarot. And the card backs have a beautiful floral design to it. You have a little bumblebee here. <laughs> and you get a beautiful image of the herb. You get the, in white, you get the big, um, you know, like the Oracle message. And then this is my only gripe about it is at the very bottom, you'll get what the herb is, but it's so dark, it's easy to not see it. So I kind of wish they would have done that in white as well um, so that you can see it better. That's my only gripe. Other than that, I really like the cards. And if you pay attention to like the white, um, in the background, like the picture, it kind of goes with like progress. You have a ladder. It kind of goes with it to kind of get your um, your intuition going. So and you can pay attention to that to get kind of an idea of freedom opening the cage. You know what I mean? So that's kind of cool too for that if you're not getting much out of the plant. <laughs> So it's a really, really pretty deck. I love it. Everybody's been enjoying seeing it popping up on my November um, daily messages. So if you want to see this deck in action, um, there's a couple more days left of November. Go have a look at my daily messages on Instagram. There you go, the Magical Herb Oracle. So this is one of my most recent decks. This is the Wild Medicine Herbal Deck. When I put the post out on Instagram and I was asking you guys for um, your recommendations for plant-based decks, this was one of them that you guys linked me to. So when I went to the website, I could not, I just could not say no. Um, first off, the whole 
the whole look to this website was absolutely gorgeous. It just screamed Queen of Pentacles to me. Um, and then when I saw the deck, I was like, the artwork is so pretty. It's so original and it's, it's art. Like literally the creator painted each picture. Um, and so to me, it's just like absolutely gorgeous. Um, and so I said, I, ha I was like, I have to have it. I have to have it. Not even just because it's a plant deck, but because it's so beautiful. So let's have a closer look at the wild medicine herbal deck. So the wild medicine oracle is really different from what I'm used to. Um, first off the title cards, you get a bunch of title cards. That's a really pretty design. Um, it gives you a list of the herbs that are mentioned in the cards. And the cards themselves don't have backs. So you have the picture of the herb, which is really pretty. It's painted. It's gorgeous. Um, you have the, the name of it, and you also have its... Um, I don't even know what you would call that. Like, <laughs> like it's real name. Like, you know what I mean? Um, the backs are the information. So it gives you the plant description, the parts that are used for the plant, the historical medicinal uses, how to use it, and the ritual and lore. So it's so cool. You get a lot of information for each of the plants. I guess it would be like its scientific name. Like, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know enough about plants to know <laughs> its species. I don't know. So pretty. But yeah, when I when I saw this this deck on the website, I was just blown away by the artwork. I just thought it was so pretty. She's very talented. So, so, so pretty. And that is the Wild Medicine Herbal Deck. This next one is called the Botanical Inspirations Deck and Book Set. So um, when I was reading tarot in um, a little, like a little metaphysical shop a couple years ago, back in like 2017, I think, um, the, the, the store owner, she would, you know, she would get the, um, Llewellyn and like all of like the different, um, the different magazines, like the catalogs to order decks. And because she owned a store and whatnot, she would get them for like half off. And so, um, she let me go through the, the catalog and asked if I wanted anything specific. And so I saw this deck and I was like, I need to have this one. This was so pretty. So <laughs> I just have sweet memories of this deck when we unboxed the thing together. Um, so the botanical inspirations is all flowers and it's so pretty. You guys, it has a very vintage vibe to it. I love the box. Like, like, even just the way the box looks it opens from the top it's just so dainty so feminine so like I just love it it has like that that pretty feel to it it's just a pretty deck um, and you just get really good vibes from it so this one doesn't I don't pull this one out often for clients it, the client that I'm reading for has to have the, the right vibration for me to want to read with this one but the people, the, the few people that I have read it for, um, it gave spot on messages. So this is a really, really good one. I highly recommend. Let's have a closer look at the Botanical Inspirations Oracle. Okay, so the Botanical Inspirations has its own guidebook. So you get nice inspirational messages and a bit about each of the flowers. So I love that. And the card box have a minty green. That's one thing I really like about this deck is the mint green. It's just so precious. And it has that vintage feel. It reminds me a lot of the Oracle of Oddities and the Antique Anatomy Tarot, which I think would pair really nicely with this deck. Even the Magical Herb Oracle would too. 
and <clears throat> you so you have this gorgeous image of the flowers you have you know it's in its name it's the the oracle message there and then you have a quote so everything just fits it's so fun to read with but like I said, it has to be the right energy. The, the, the person that I'm reading, using it for has to have the right vibration because it's it doesn't go for everybody. So this deck only gets pulled rarely. <laughs> I've only used it a few times for clients. I've used it for myself a lot. But it has to be the right, the right fit. Really, really pretty. So that is the Botanical Inspirations. And I highly recommend this deck. So, so, so pretty. So this next one I'm really, really excited to show you guys. This one had been on my wish list forever. And that is the Victorian Flower Oracle. So those of you guys who know your decks and you know those rare ones, like those out of print decks, this is one of those. So this is by Baba Studios. Um, and the Victorian Flower Oracle comes in just the deck. You could find it as just the deck. Or you could get the box set, which has the big compendium that goes with it. Now, unfortunately, I did not get the one with the big compendium. I just got the deck itself. Um, I remember I was browsing both eBay and Amazon <laughs> for the deck. This was like back in, I think this was like around 2017 that I was um, doing my search, 2016, 2017. And um, there was one that popped up on eBay that I almost bought, but then when I checked Amazon randomly enough, there was a listing on Amazon for the deck and the person that was selling it, they owned one of those like vintage shops and they listed this deck as a haunted deck. So they said that it has haunted energies to it. So it intrigued me, obviously. Um, and so I purchased it off of them. And um, unfortunately, it didn't, doesn't come with the guidebook. So that big compendium book that a lot of the Baba Studio decks come with, it didn't. So it's okay. It's just the deck itself. But maybe one day I can snag myself the actual guidebook. Because um, I would be really, really interested in seeing kind of like the story behind some of the meanings to the cards because sometimes I'll look at the images and some of the um like the little prompts for the cards it doesn't quite go with the image in my opinion so I would be really curious to see you know what the guidebook would say about sharing information about that so maybe one day but let's have a look at the Victorian flower oracle okay so the card backs of the Victorian flower oracle have a name it has magic realist press and it has kind of like a gold hue to it when the light catches it just right <laughs> and you have beautiful images of flower people so very very similar to the harmonious tarot like i was mentioning you have these gorgeous flower people so that's what i was saying like the harmonious tarot <clears throat> let me grab it real fast um, like if this deck was a tarot deck, it would be similar to the Harmonious Tarot. So just a little FYI in case any of you guys are looking for, for something like that. I wish I had the guidebook for this deck because I would love to know like the story behind some of these pictures and like why they, you know, they have competition for this one or you know, sad memories. Like some of them, it makes sense, but some of them I'm like, it's kind of hard to tell. I love this one. Um, the necessary evil you have the, 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 to pick the thorns. <laughs> like revenge, I don't know. Oh, I just noticed that you have like the people See, sometimes you notice things that you never noticed before. <laughs> A threat. This is so pretty. I love this stack. So if you guys are able to get your hands on it, I recommend the box 
version so you can get that guidebook. But it's kind of expensive because it's out of print. So that is the Victorian Flower Oracle. So this next deck is actually comes with a gigantic book. <laughs> this is the Illustrated Herbiary. It includes 36 oracle cards, guidance and rituals from 36 bewitching botanicals. So not gonna lie, I did not buy this for the cards, which are back there, they're tucked away back there. And I haven't even opened them. So maybe when I share, when we do a closer look at the deck, Maybe I'll open it for you guys. But I actually bought it because of the book. So you open up the book and it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So we'll have a closer look at this um, right now, right now. Um, but basically I was looking, you know, obviously I was in the market for herb decks. And when I saw the book, I was like, this is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Um, and it's really well done. I've read a couple pages into it, um, taking my time with it but it's really, really well done. So let's have a closer look at the Illustrated Herbiary. Alrighty. So the Illustrated Herbiary, I actually pulled the cards out from the back. They're very, very thin. So you're not gonna be getting like amazing card stock out of this. Uh, you just have to pull them out, pull them, pull them out. But basically it's the same image as what is in the book. So. Let's have a look. Look at how gorgeous. Oh, I am such a sucker for pretty books, you guys. <laughs> um, but like I said, I really got this because of the artwork. So you have the table of contents and it's, you can just go right to the herb you want to look at. And the cards themselves have the same picture. Okay. So you get a little information about the herb. The ritual, the reflection. Oh, so pretty. Like, how can you not? How can you not want this in your book collection? <laughs> it's just so pretty. The red clover. So yeah, I totally, totally, totally recommend this. White sage, move this up a little bit. Crows, clear the way with the white sage. <gasps> That's not good. That's a little disappointing. Ripple outward self heal. Rosemary. Oh, so pretty. And it still smells like new book. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so yeah. If you guys are suckers like me for books, I totally recommend. I totally recommend it. Even if you're not getting it for the deck, I totally recommend it. So that is the Illustrated Herbiary. And last but not least, you guys, is the Druid Plant Oracle, working with the magical flora of the Druid tradition. So um, I actually own the Druid Animal Oracle, and that one is really, really pretty. I actually trimmed the edges because it's a huge deck, like huge cards. Um, with like big white borders. And so the same ones are go, go for this, but I kind of like, I was looking at the cards and I was like, I kind of like the white borders on these for, I don't know, it just to me, it just looks pretty. So I don't think I'm gonna do a deck mod on this deck, um, but it comes with 36 cards um, and they go into detail about the different herbs, the plants. It comes with a little spread inside. So this box set was pretty cute. I found this one at Barnes and Noble too. The same time, the same day that I got the herbiary. Um, and so this one had been on my radar as well. It was just one of those decks where I was like, am I gonna use it? I don't really use the Druid Animal that much, but um, I ended up getting it because why not? <laughs> So let's have a closer look at the Druid Plant Oracle. So the Druid Plant Oracle 
always comes with a delicious guidebook. Like, that's just part of what you get. <laughs> so tons and tons and tons of information there. So if you love the guidebooks and reading them, you'll have fun with that. The deck is huge, you guys. I'm not even kidding you. So the card backs, the druid book, the like the druid decks, the animal one. I never, never liked the card backs. Just was never a fan. A fan. Um, so that's one thing I could do without. Is I would probably put something else on the back of it. Um, and then they're so big. So you also get um, three. They always give you three um, empty blank cards to draw your own herbs and stuff in there that's something that you know the deck didn't have that maybe you're resonating with so they always do that too they did that with the animal one as well um but look like the white borders they're not super thick to where it's like you know it, it's not something that is just uh, like horribly annoying so i i think i'm gonna keep them but I don't know I just think it goes like it's okay I'm okay with it otherwise you could cut this border off or some people have even cut this border off but I'm not gonna do that I think I'm gonna leave this one alone <laughs> but I really love the artwork it's a really pretty deck beautiful artwork the colors pop and you just get this gigantic guidebook with information Poppy. I can't believe the animal one. I believe the animal oracle is the same too with the border. <laughs> I think it's the exact same border. You don't see too much wheat in these plant decks. So that one was kind of cool to see something different, you know? So yeah, this is the Druid Plant Oracle, and if you're into it, it's still at Barnes & Noble, so you can buy a copy. <laughs> so yeah, that is the Druid Plant Oracle. Okay, you guys, so that is it for all of my plant, tarot, and oracle decks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any of your own decks that are plant-based that you recommend, because there is one that I still want to get my hands on. Um, it is called the Hedge Witch Oracle. So that is on my list to get, and I'm probably gonna order that for myself as a Christmas present. Um, but if you guys recommend any other plant-based tarot or oracle decks, please leave them in the comments below because I am looking. Um, I just love working with plants. Um, recently, it's like I've been starting like gardening a little bit and like feeding and watering the grass and the plants and whatnot and, <laughs> and just really learning to embrace more of my earth vibes because like I said, the earth energy is the one the one energy in my chart that I lack. And so I feel like it's important that if you're lacking something in your chart, you need more of it. And it's like not just more, you know, spending time outside in nature, even though I should do that more often because I'm I am a vampire. Like I love to be in the house in the dark. Um, but so not just getting sunshine and being outside, but also, um, you know, adding more plant-based foods in my diet and working with the root chakra and grounding and whatnot, using, um, the crystals like smoky quartz. I've been addicted to smoky quartz lately. Um, what else have I been doing with the earth energy? Um, wearing certain crystals, um, mainly smoky quartz. Like I've been really, really, really obsessed with it lately. Um drinking more water, like things like that. But just for me, like bringing out the plant-based tarot and oracle decks have really helped with me embracing that element and that, that part of myself. So if you guys recommend any that I did not show, I would love to hear it. Let me know. If you guys have any questions about anything that I showed, let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye loves.